I thought, because we're in one of the last vlogs, I'm gonna vlog the shit out of this week. Shit, motherfucker. Fucking move over. week is the week of doing hard things. I've got to drive to Wokingham today for work, do two gigs this week. Fuck. I've been bombing all over the place and I'm um, swimming in Hampstead Pools on Sunday and anyway, this is the week of hard stuff. Let's do it. So we're talking about doing hard things. So far I've been in the car for about an hour and a half, maybe more. I was going to be 15 minutes early, and now the sat nav says I'm going to be late. Of course, they won't understand. It will just be, oh, you're late. <laughs> We've been here 10, 15 minutes, cars in park. Those cars driving past there are going up red X lanes. Red X, red X, red, red X lanes. Red X, red X lanes. <laughs> 10 20. I was in the car at 7 40. Fuck me. Yeah, so as well as arcade machines, I've got everything between Game Boy all the way up to PlayStation on it. So every kind of console that existed between those periods. That's amazing. How many games? Is on there. Oh God, well, like thousands in total. Uh, it's a, so it's a kit that I assembled. I didn't put better. So the arcade and the buttons are actual arcade buttons and joysticks. Yeah, yeah, it feels like it. To a manufacturer in the UK about that, you got the real deal. So that's all proper buttons. Yeah. yeah, so it's a company called Pi Moroni who make the kit, but as I say, upgraded the buttons and the joystick. These are all different consoles. Oh, so if you geez. get to one that you like, oh yeah, I love the PlayStation. Oh, yes. Oh, and I'm well out of practice here. <laughs> I can't even remember any of the special attacks. I'm just mush mashing away merrily like someone who can't remember any of the special Oh, he's down, he's down. Right, it is uh, 5.30 on uh, the Tuesday, and here is something difficult. Here is something difficult. I've got to get changed every time I... Um, whoa, driving. Driving! Every time. That's worse. It's not even better. Every time I do a gig, I have to get changed in the car park of my work before I go. Uh, and it's fucking freezing cold. So that's... Shut the fuck! That is getting changed in the car park. Done. Fucking 2020 and no one's invented a better solution than buttons. Apart from zips and Velcro. Right, let's go. Let's fucking go to Hoxton. <laughs> Right, I am outside the pub, the Stag's Head in Hoxton, and I'm about to go in. I don't have an end to my set, and I'm just, I'm just doing it. I just think my motivation for open mics is really reduced. It's such a grind, and I've bombed so many times in a row. I'm just, oh. But I'm about to go do a, a gig with a set I've written, a new set, another new set. But fuck it, every gig is like a gym session, isn't it? So we're just going to do it. We're going to plow on through. We're going to see what happens. I'm moving down here because somebody's walking past the uh, car. Cheers, mate. Right, see you in a bit. So, I'm here and I'm on the toilet. It's only comics again. And every time you do a gig with only comics, it's always shit. Because it's only comics. It doesn't have the atmosphere. Everyone's just thinking about what they're doing. Yeah.
they say if you don't want to give up comedy at least once a month you're not working hard enough at it I must be working fucking hard in comedy because I want to fucking set it alight in a ditch and then set the ditch alight oh! <laughs> So it's morning, that gig last night I had, I mean it was a shitty gig anyway, it was basically only comedians. But there's this phenomena that happens at comedy gigs that I've found at the moment, is that you get like a clique of comedians who know each other and all laugh at each other's jokes and then everybody else who isn't in that clique dies. Now I'm not blaming anyone but me, right, but um, it definitely that definitely happens and in the words of my mate Andy, if one of the clique dies on stage, it's like, clique your way out of that one, cunt. I am on the verge of giving it all up. I may, maybe I'm saying that to be dramatic, but I really feel like life would be easier if I gave it up and then it wouldn't be because then I'd have to find some other obsession. I'd have to find something else to fill that fucking void because I know what I'm like. Onwards we plow. I have a gig tonight. At least I'm on the bill with Ian tonight, uh, just by coincidence. So I get to see him, and we'll see how that goes. See you later. So I'm in the toilet at work, and I've just listened to my set from last night. It's like a death from a thousand cuts. It's just the worst. I don't want to do this gig tonight. A comedy right now. I fucking hate it. I haven't got a clue what's going on. So then you start just eating the tzatziki, and then someone comes along and goes, Oh, right, so you're like the tzatziki man. You're like, I'm not the tzatziki man. I'm like, I'm the calamari guy. I've been eating tzatziki for 10 years. I'm the tzatziki. That's me. I'm the tzatziki. It's my boy. It's my boy. So tonight was the first time. I've done a gig in a month where I didn't bomb, completely bomb. And um, I won't be giving up comedy just yet, but I was close. I was so close to not even getting up on that stage. Um, I'm sorry I'm not wearing a top, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Now it just looks like I'm wearing a toga. Fucking hell. It is, that is snow. Snow, the first snow of the year. Let's go outside in the snow. So last night was good. Last night was good. It was good enough for me to continue. I had a right crisis there for a bit. Sometimes you just gotta fucking smash that lame duck. Smash it with a fucking baseball bat. Smash that duck up. Smash the big fuck. Oh 
yeah. This is potato head. Mr. Potato Head. Fuck. Oh, it's cold. Well, it's cold. Yes, today we go swimming in Hampstead Ponds. Freezing cold Hampstead Ponds. That's cold. Let's do it. Just had a really nice gig. Just had a really nice gig in uh, Healing, 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 but their new venue. It was really, hang on. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, good material that went down all right, but everyone was funny and it was just a lovely, um, just got a good feeling. And, and, and that just showed you, I was like two weeks ago looking to, come, to quit. Is this door gonna open? And um, and then I just had a lovely night, and I'm really pleased that I'm doing it. Um, so there you go. You just got to stick at stuff, I think. But um, it does mean that in this new venue, I'm walking through a, a murderous style. Like I need to meet a guy with a trench coat who's going to give me a big file. That's not a euphemism. Um, but yeah, really good, and I'm glad I did it. Whoa!